Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the recessional. Good afternoon. Please be seated, graduates. Before we begin the formal ceremony, let me remind you to silence your cell phones and be courteous to those around you by quietly attending to the speakers throughout the ceremony. I am Stephanie Adams, Dean of the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science, and I'd like to thank you for joining us today and for those of you who may be watching from other countries, thank you for potentially disrupting your sleep so that you can watch the ceremony in real time to support your graduates. The Johnson School currently has more than 8,700 students, and today we celebrate the 722 graduates this semester. That would be 461 students who earned bachelor's degrees, 219 students who earned master's degrees, and 42 students who earned their doctorate. Graduates. I have two questions for you, and they are in the form of a very well-known quote. If not you, then who? If not now, then when? 
This quote has been credited to Hillel, a Jewish elder, but was popularized by people as varied as former presidents John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan, along with former civil rights activist and American statesman John Lewis. The quote implies that a person should determine who they are and use it to change the world and do it now. Right now, the world needs the youthful engineers and computer scientists that you have become. So graduates, again, I ask you, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? I may not have personally had the opportunity to meet each and every one of you, but by graduating today, I know a few things about you. One, you're ambitious, you're, hard, you're creative, you're hardworking, you're really smart, and probably a little geeky, but in a purely complimentary way. And last but not least, I'm certain that you're resilient. Some of you spent almost half of your time earning your bachelor's degree, taking classes and labs online. Some of you spent the majority of your time earning a master's degree, de-densifying, social distancing, masking, and giving people strange looks if they laughed or coughed near you. Your presence here today suggests that you determined who you were and that you would not let anyone or anything deter you from your goals and dreams and for that you to be commended. Challenges the kind typical of a college experience and the once in a generation kind that you have endured are what makes us resilient engineers and computer scientists. Consider the challenges the world faces. Failing physical infrastructures, attacks on our cyber systems, the need to mitigate climate change, the desire to provide clean energy and water, and inequality in our communities, to name a few. The world needs your intelligence and problem-solving skills. It needs your creativity, your perspective, your ambition. It needs your curiosity and resilience. It needs your hope and collaborative spirit. The Johnson School community and your experiences the past few years have taught you who you are. You are ready for these and the myriad of other challenges that will come your way. I am confident that if you maintain the faith, focus, tenacity, and resilience, you've already shown that you will do great things. Embrace your full potential. Be the leader, the game changer, and innovator that you have already demonstrated that you are. Again, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? You've got this. First though, let's get you across this stage and to your celebrations with your family and friends. During the presentation of graduates, we encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering. This is a wonderful day for everyone, grad graduates, parents, family, and friends. I now have the privilege of introducing colleagues that are joining us today. I ask them to stand and remain standing, and I ask the audience to hold applause until introductions are complete. Dr. Richard C. Benson, President and Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Amy Walker, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Affairs. Dr. Porus Balsara, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Dr. John Hansen, Associate Dean for Research. Dr. Ravi Prakash, Speaker of the Academic Senate. Dr. Steve Yerkovich, Department Head of Systems Engineering. Dr. Ovidio Dascu, Department Head of Computer Science. Dr. Jorge Cobb, Associate Department Head of Computer Science, and all the other faculty that are participating from the departments, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. You may now be seated. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium your university president, Dr. Richard C. Benson. Thank you, Dean Adams. Graduates, in your time at UT Dallas, you have been given a firm foundation to contend with, and I would even say thrive in, a world that never ceases to change. And about that word change, one definition is to make someone or something different. So it's worth asking, how are you different since enrolling at UT Dallas? Did you connect your interests with your passions? We certainly do everything possible to ensure that you can do so as you progress toward the completion of your degree. No doubt you have been challenged during your time here and learned from and collaborated with others, with professors and classmates, with internship partners, and with librarians, coaches, and program directors. Countless people came into your life to mentor you, to support you, to challenge you, and most importantly, to believe in you. 
By allowing yourself to be challenged at UT Dallas and by accepting input from others, you changed and for the better. You've acquired both the knowledge and experience to continue to adapt and succeed in a world that is often unpredictable. What you take away from this day is so much more than a diploma. You leave with the knowledge that you are an accomplished student, someone who can forever learn new things. You have the ability to shape your future and you have demonstrated the intellect and persistence needed to achieve your goals. There are few joys greater than the realization that you are smart and well-educated with years of achievement and reward lying ahead of you. And I'll be honest, I rather envy you. And I thank you. Thank you for choosing UT Dallas for your studies. Thank you for making the faculty, staff, and your fellow students better by your presence. And finally, thank you for using your education from this dynamic university, not only for yourself, but also for the well-being of society. Please stay connected with us and each other, and as a graduate, you are always welcome here. Congratulations, class of 2021. I now invite to the podium the Graduate Associate Dean for the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science, Dr. Porus Balsara. Today's commencement ceremony is a highlight of the academic calendar. We gather to recognize and celebrate your dedication, hard work, and the glorious achievement of earning your degrees. I would also like to recognize the tremendous contributions commitments and sacrifices of the parents, families, and friends that help make this day a reality. Students succeed not only because of their own efforts, but also because of the support they receive from families and friends. So to our graduates and their families, congratulations, good luck, good success, and best wishes for a bright future. Will all candidates who are to receive their master's degree, please rise as able and remain standing. President Benson, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that the candidates who have completed all of their academic requirements are entitled to receive their master's degrees. <laughs> candidates, please be seated. Earlier, a special recognition ceremony was conducted for graduating doctoral students. Each student who participated in the ceremony invited his or her advisor or a UT Dallas faculty member to assist the Dean of Graduate Education in placing the doctoral hood of their commencement regalia over their heads. The conferral signified the success of the candidate in completing his or her program of studies leading to the highest academic degree offered by UT Dallas. Since the doctoral recipients are already hooded now, now only remains for them to receive their diplomas. I ask all doctoral, recipients, do doctoral degree recipients now to stand as able and be recognized. <laughs> Graduates, please be seated. I turn the podium back to Dr. Benson. Thank you, Dr. Balsara, and this is the magical moment. So now, by the virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended, with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. And now turn it back to Dean Adams for the formal presentation of degrees. Thank you, President Benson. As Dean, it is my privilege to congratulate and formally recognize the graduating class of 2021 for the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science. <clears throat> I now invite all graduates to cross the stage Audience, please listen carefully for your graduate's name as they cross the stage by degree, but not in alphabetical order. Graduates receiving a baccalaureate degree, please come forward as your name is called. My apologies. 
Graduates receiving a master's degree, please come forward as your name is called. Babia Shri Bombay. Andrew Crow. Siddhi Chichani. Travis Michael Bono. Sai Megana Reddy Avula. Abhijit Balaji. Rupesh Rajkumar Bairadar. Asya Afreen. Praveen Aravendan. S. K. Aravind. Anshuman Acharya. Praveen Tangarajan. Nikhil Gupta. Kyaikan Ho Huang. Ji Rang Guo. Poonam Ravishekar Gilurkar. Kapil Gautam. Ying Gong. Yi Run Fan Paresh Dashor Fei Fei Gao Sai Rishikeshwar Reddy Erigim Reddy Massa Eslami Alisha Dia Chandra Sharik Ali Parmanand Sahu Vishnu Varma Kunadharaju Jia Chi Ma Craig Lee Crystal Ying Fan Liu James Tracy Landry Charles T. Kroll. <laughs> Divya Gamadapu. <laughs> Venkateshwa Reddy Kaluva. <laughs> Reshma Jala. <laughs> Ronik Prakash Hegde. Kushagra Gupta <laughs> Bo Yu Huang <laughs> Sahit Hegde <laughs> Sri Prasad Gujaluva Parthasarathi <laughs> Brajesh Kumar Apurva Ramesh Javali 
Ameya Nitin Kulkarni. Sai Krishna Chiramamilla. Naveen Kumar Reddy Inaganti. Da Yuan Chen. Nikhil Chowdhury Nanapanena. Brian Nguyen. Sid Rameshwar Murgesh Kadigid. Addison Kane Miller. Sabicus Maida. Abigian Sinha. Novanil Das. Shen Chi Kuo. Ashwin Ramananda. Kritagya Napa. Shubham Dingra. Gauran Jiwan Ratnakar. Sumed Pranab Sen. Nguyen Huang Fuang Li. Anup Dilip Jaltade. Anuja Gore. Chow Ran Li. Kunj Amrutbai Patel. Nilkumar Kirtibai Patel. Prashant Kumar. Divya Machenahali Lokesh. Aishwarya Madhubushi Gadavarti. Lauren Avery Pottersnack. Antiville Askari Perhanin. Amruta Bhargavi Rajkumar. Ankit Raj. Shiva Kranthi Raparla. Arun Roy. Enrique Jose Rodriguez Cupello. Jaita Roy. Sneha Elizabeth Sam. Matthew Karag Santiago. Asif Sohail Mohammed. Christy Kim Nemec. John Robert Siebold. Varsha De Silva Samararathna. Kaushik Nadimpali. Pratik Sharma. Navanil Sengupta. Dan Nathaniel Michael Sutter. Mujtaba Arfat Syed. Thomas Arrington Stanley. 
Nada Tade. Sai Shrikar Reddy Singareddy. Shashidar Kravidi. Divyesh Ganshayam Patel. Kavin Thiruvaluvan. Najendra Tamiri. Yamini Ratna Tota. Matthew William Tice. Harita Velampali. Abhishek Pramod Prusti. Zoraida Vences. Jared Ian Wolf. Varshan Techchandani. Jian Wang. Victor Vu. Abhishek Ramesh Hosmani. Zhu Katang Xia. Ying Ning Yuan. James Wei. Sheng Chuan Zhao. Karthik Reddy Yellow. Evan Guo. Henry Hungye Wong. Maytony Matthew Wethington. Christopher Lawrence Orton. Joshua Danielle Ruiz. Michael James Smith. Matilda Ho. Alan James Rodriguez. Mihir Deepak Madnik. Nithish Kamath. Nikhil Kanaparthi. Shilpi Soni. Graduates receiving a doctoral degree, please come forward as your name is called. Parag Pravin Dakle. <laughs> Bo Dong. <laughs> Ali Gunbari. Ling Huan Hu. <laughs> Dhruv Kumar Rameshbhai Patel. <laughs> Han Mo Chong. Sung Su Han. This concludes the presentation of degrees. 
Congratulations, one and all. I would like to thank the university staff who planned and executed the commencement ceremonies today and express my appreciation to the faculty, administrators, and staff who gave their time to participate. And now, Comets, we have one last assignment for you. Would you please rise as able? That would be the graduates. And now, would you please move your tassel from the right side to the left side? For those of you with class rings, I invite you to turn them so that they face away from you to point outward toward your future, sy symbolically pointing to your place in the larger world of UTD alumni. Let me be the first to offer my warmest congratulations to you and my very best wishes for a prosperous and joyful future. Please be seated. In addition to earning the degrees conferred upon you today, you have earned the right to be associated with a very special group of individuals. You may now call yourselves alumni of the University of Texas at Dallas. I know for a fact that we have some alumni with us today. Could I ask all UTD graduates in the Activity Center to please rise and join our new alumni and stand to be recognized? Welcome back. This day marks a wonderful milestone, not only in your lives, but also in the life of the university. I wish you all the best as you go into your new lives as graduates of the University of Texas at Dallas. Enjoy your day of celebration with your family and friends and return to us soon. And now I ask for all to please rise as able and join us for the singing of the UTD alma mater led by, recording, led by a recording of the university's premier a cappella group, Novus. Graduates, please remaining. Will the audience please be seated? In a moment, the administration and faculty will recess through the rear doors of the auditorium, after which our graduates will also recess. Graduates, please pay attention to the staff from the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science as they ask you to recess one row at a time. Once the graduates have left, friends and family may leave from the doors where you entered exit out the building and turn right. You may join your graduates at the Davidson Gundy Alumni Center. <laughs> 